I am Dan Vaida, film and stage actor from Transylvania, Romania, who moved to North America to pursue my dream, my acting career. Today I want to tell you why I bought a military style shirt. Why I had to do this. And it has to do with my acting career. With, um, it, it's, it's about one of the stepping stones to, towards my, my acting goals. So, a while ago I crunched some numbers with my, my business coach because this is show business, so it's, it's business. Business is a huge part of it. And I crunched, crunched some numbers with my business coach and she said, Dan, look, you have so many submissions for military roles and almost no auditions for those types of roles. That means your agent sees you as um, capable of playing a military guy, but your but, but the cast, casting directors don't. They don't see it. Submissions, I want to explain for a second what submissions are. Submissions are, um, uh, let's say, the, the emails, let's say, the emails that your agent is sending to casting directors who are the headhunters for actors to basically get you in the audition room to, to make them decide to, to see you for an audition, which is a job interview for actors. So basically she, was, she kept proposing them, see Dan for this military role, see Dan for this military role, and that comes with a headshot and my resume. And my business coach said, it's, it's nothing on your, in, in your, your headshots. It, it doesn't really suggest the military um, maybe uniform. They don't see it. They don't see you. Based on what you have right now, they don't, they, they don't see it. It's also how you present yourself in, in that headshot. It's not just how you're dressed, but the attitude, the posture, the, po the energy that you give out. So then I went ahead and I read, done my headshots and I made sure I included a headshot with I have a t-shirt that's green and it, it, it's suggesting the, the military vibe. In, in my personal opinion and also in other people's opinion, that that's a good option. So I went ahead, I did it, it looks good, I'm happy with it, gave it to my agent and now my, uh, my agent has that in her toolbox. But still, I'm not being seen, uh, I'm not having auditions, I'm having auditions, but not for military parts maybe it happened once or twice so not enough and uh, then i made that decision by myself and i said okay i'll go ahead and i bought a military style shirt from um, it's one of the thrift stores it was 11 bucks so a cheap shirt i didn't want to spend like 60 bucks from a specialized store because you, you can go in a specialized store and buy a real military shirt that's about 60 70 dollars i didn't want to spend that much money because then also i have to spend money on on actual headshots so i said i'll buy this one which i did and the plan is to go shoot few few headshots get a few headshots taken with this on me give it to my agent and then see if that's making a difference because as as of now the casting directors they don't see me as a military guy they, they they can't picture me playing those roles and i know for sure i can do that and we'll see what happened and maybe i'll make a follow-up video on this topic later on and let you guys know what what happened and how did it go Thank you for watching. That was the, um, the tip for today. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell that's next to it. Feel free to comment in the section below. Like, share and thank you for watching. See you next time.